Well, as the viewing area braces for another round of severe storms, Nebraska farmers assessed the damage from last night's hail. Yeah, this is what just a few minutes of the storms did to fields near the village of Waco. For some farmers, this is the second year in a row they've seen their crops ruined. KETV Newswatch 7's Andrew Ozaki shows us the damage in York County. Gone in 15 minutes. That's the way Gordon Hyden describes what happened to his crops Monday night. There's nothing to salvage on the crops. They're all, the hail came at a, at a very bad time because the corn was just tasseling. The hail whipped by wind gusts up to 50 miles an hour hit from all sides. It looks like it's a blizzard outside. It's blowing that hard and the, the hail just is good, literally going horizontal. Shattering two windows on his home, knocking over his machine shed and punching the side of a grain bin. It caves the side and it pulls it up off of the cement, so it's ruined. But the real gut punch, this is the second year in a row he and his son have been hailed out. Two years in a row, it's, it's a hard pill to swallow, but that just, that goes with it. Just to the south, more grain bins toppled. These two were replaced from last year's storm. A center pivot knocked out a power line. Pivots are down, bins are down. Uh, corn is probably just about 90% gone. Justin Shernicka and his dad are lucky. They didn't have the damage to equipment as other neighbors, but their crops also took a beating. If we have some livestock, and if we can come in maybe and take this crop off and sow it to sedan grass or turnips, we can get some pasture this winter. They have insurance, but that only goes so far. You have insurance, but that doesn't, raising the crop is much better than harvesting insurance. And hope for better luck next year. Near Waco, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, Newswatch 7.